It's deckle time, it's deckle time, deckling such a fun time. Deckle time, deckle time, hooray! Ow, my freaking ears! <gasps> oh, let's go, dear. Well, I expect that type of language at Denny's, but not here. Um, so if you haven't already unsubscribed after that, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the decals. I've been looking through, and basically what I'm doing is I'm painting up all the little parts and doodads, and I looked and went, hey, I could I could put the decals on this thing. I could have fun. Yeah. Let's get that. I don't know really why they have these little foamy rims. They always just bug me. But I, I, I have this fear that I shouldn't get rid of them. Like they actually perhaps do seal something in. <laughs> you know? Okay. So I think a lot of you know my... Uh, decal strategy, I guess I could call it, is I start at the back of the model, work my way to the front, let them dry, then I do the wings. It's just my way of, of doing everything. Um, so let's start here, yeah, we're gonna do decal six. Six, seven, oh, they're big. Okay, so let's poke holes in it. Why? Because I hate silvering. Silvering sucks. Silvering is the biggest bummer when you get a decal and you're thinking everything's good. I'm fine, I can go. I think something's burning. A little becoming a bit paranoid right now. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. These, uh, these reacted really quick last time. I had them in for about five seconds and they were ready to go. So let's just see here. I'm gonna use Tamiya Mark Fit Strong. See how that, that reacted pretty well. Oh, look at that. It's already ready to go. That was an odd sound to hear. Coming from my vents. I think there's something in the vent. Which would explain the weird smell. But how it got there in the first place, that would not, would not be any kind of justification for how creepy it is. Alright, I'll look into that in a minute. So I'm just going to apply a good coating of this on here. Nice gloss surface. And I did the wrong side. <laughs> You idiot. Alright, let's try it again. Okay. Now we'll do it. So this flag goes basically here. Okay, that was a bad idea. They just want to stick. And I'm going to have to paint just a smidgen of white on that on that 9 right there. It's broken. Um, actually, that's, a, that's about where they need to be. Just make sure it's straight. Okay. They look great. They look really, really good. So now I need a cotton swab. So 
So the next step here is uh, pushing out all the moisture underneath it. And um, I'm going to go put another layer of this stuff on top. A thick layer as well, I think, because this is a pretty big decal. And um, this will help it to stick and melt and conform a bit better. And I'll come back and do this again once I'm done the rest. I thought these were all individual, like one, two, three, but nope, it's one big sheet, which works. So I'm going to go do all the other ones here, other side, the little Jolly Rogers, um, little intakes there, and then the bottom and top of the wings. So it'll take me a little while to do, but there's not a, you know, it's not a terrible amount, but they look fantastic. Look really, really good. So, yeah, I'm going to go figure out what that sound and smell is, because it's not me. And then I'm going to come back and do all this, so hopefully it's nothing. Okay, um, I put the decals on, as you guys just saw. I just coated them with some more, uh, well, I wouldn't use Microsol, it's more gentle. Um, I found the Tamiya Markfit was a bit it was acting it a bit too much it was causing it to bubble in a couple areas um, Microsol is supposed to last longer as far as drying time so I'm gonna let it dry and hopefully they'll flatten themselves out in a little while painted the engine while I was waiting this is sky gray with a black wash and uh, this is a P3 pan I don't remember what color it is hold on it is Gray coat gray, very nice color. And I just glued the wheels together. They're all white. And I'm waiting for a silver paint to come in so I can do the back of the rockets and the this last part here of the propeller. So I got the propeller painted red. I need to paint this back part silver, and the tips need to be yellow. So looking forward, to, well I painted the tips yellow actually, that's what I meant to say. And so I'm going to put some of these smaller assemblies together here. So let's put this here and I want some extra thin. And I can hear a phone ringing. So, I'll be right back, one second. It's actually a good thing the phone rang because, um, I didn't know this, but the battery was basically dead. So, this is what it looks like. I love it. Super happy with that. I think that looks fantastic. So, come in. Come in. Here we go. Let's try and pull this piece apart and not break the model all at once. So, I had to, I had a lot of time to kill waiting for the battery to charge and I didn't want to do anything on the model because I thought I'd save it for you guys because you guys are awesome and uh, yeah so let's put these wheels in here so I did some eBay shopping <laughs> I've got nothing else to do for a while to eBay and I did buy something so I'm pretty excited and it's in Canada so that's even better bought some Lego. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. I bought a Lego. And caught up on replying to comments. Which I've been pretty bad at lately. So I just want to... Now these wheels, it looks like they were built to be uh, movable. Um, let me just grab the instructions here. Oh, wait a minute, this is going to be the first time it stands on all three. Ta-da! Okay, moment over. Um, actually, it looks pretty cool. So here's the instructions. Or I think it's Gyrus calls them the destructions. And the dickles. <laughs> Why not? If they are that bad. If they're being that stubborn, maybe they are. 
dickles. They are being a dickle. <laughs> so you put this little you put this little part here, B6. You put that into here first, basically, because otherwise it rattles around inside of here. So you put that in here with this around it, and it's like it can move, but it makes them wobbly. And I said, screw that. I'm just gonna glue them in. I was gonna have them roll, but it, it, it didn't look good when the wheels are supposed to be straight. Like the braces are straight, but then the wheels are like this. It just, it's not very appealing. So, let's put in the, uh, yeah, let's put in the doors. And I still have to paint the tail wheel, and I think I have to paint this part here silver, the tail hook. I've seen it painted white, but I don't know if that's um, necessarily accurate or not. That part I've never been able to properly uh, identify. Come on. There we go. Alright, in. Yeah, this is why I love um, extra thin cement, because it's just, you just put a little line over there, glued. Done. Don't need to worry about this. And I'm gonna leave the, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the drop tanks off till last because uh, it'll, be, it'll be very hard to paint all this stuff inside of here and get a wash in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put them in just to see how it looks. And, uh, but yeah, I'll leave that all off for now. Look at that. Pretty darn cool. I'm liking this quite a bit. Heck, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do something kind of cool here. Pull that off. Pull that on there. Just a bit of a sneak peek. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. So, what I'm going to go do now is I'm just going to leave this. Um... Because I, I have a chance of getting that paint in today. And if that paint comes in, I'm going to paint the Havara rockets and all the other little pieces. Oh, hi, Pella. And, yeah, then I'm just going to, I'm going to do all that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. And if I don't get that, I'll just use the flat aluminum, which I don't really want to use. I don't really like hand brushing that as much anymore. I want to say hi. Say hello, Pella. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Get that thing out of my face. Yeah, <laughs> so she sits down behind me. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to just wait on that and work on a couple other things. A couple other projects. And then, yeah, it's time to start weathering it up a bit with the panel lines and whatnot. I've seen a couple modelers really go at it with heavy extreme weathering, but... For me, I, I don't like it. I kind of like having him cute and clean like that. I think that adds a bit more kind of weird character to him. That's just me. So, yeah, let's hope that paint comes in today. And, uh, yeah, I'll be able to continue working on that. Well, either way. So I was able to get that uh, paint that I wanted. I wanted to try Vallejo silver paint. See how this stuff is. And, uh... Shook it up pretty well, but I might need to stir it a little. Oh. Some ginger. Boxer dog. And, uh, so yeah, now I can paint the back of these, uh, rockets. Ugh, it's a bit bright. But, hmm, just, the blue just overtakes it.
because grease styrene is too much to ask. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Anyways, I'm going to go paint all this. This is going to take me a few coats to do. And I kind of need to get it like really close to my face in order to see what I'm doing. And uh, no, you know what? I, it, it needs to be stirred up more. So I'm going to go do that as well. It's just, I can see it separating. As soon as it like lays down, it just kind of goes. Pfft. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It's actually not going to be, you know, I'm going to look at it from this distance. It's not actually too bad of a silver as far as the color goes. But, so yeah, i got to paint that silver and, again, the part of the propeller there. So, um... Yeah, I'm just exhausted. I've been doing models all day long. Poor me. Yeah, haha. <laughs> poor, poor me. Gets to build models all day. Just. Yeah, it's the end of the day. I should go to bed. I think I'll do that instead of painting. No, I'll paint and then go to bed. Or something. I'll figure it out in a minute. Putting on the last of the doodads and bobs and ends here. So. Putting all this stuff on, gluing it down, then I'll be giving it a uh, flat coat pretty soon. So, probably do that tonight. So, I used regular cement for the um, propeller and all that. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Quite happy with this. completely. There we go. Yeah, that's the nice thing about it. Extra thin. It does really fall into all the cracks and crevices, so it's not that big a loss. Uh, when you miss. So here's the little rockets. I'm really worried about these ones here by the by the decal. Oh, wow, perfect. All right, couldn't ask for anything better there. And there. And yeah, I'll just add a little draw of glue onto those in a minute. Here. Come on, there. Just tilt this up a little. Okay. There. Looks good. Sweet. Sweet. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, now it's time for a flat coat. Well, after I glue those on. And after the flat coat's done, I can take off the window masking. Hopefully that turned out. I actually have to glue them on because I didn't. I didn't actually glue them. But uh, man, love it! It looks fantastic. So cute. So cool. It's everything. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how these rockets turned out. And, yeah, not much else to say. It's pretty good. So, let's go to a flat coat. Flat coat I'm going to use um, Tamiya Flat Clear XF86. You need to airbrush this stuff on. You can't use it by hand uh, with, like, a paintbrush, I mean. So, that'll take a little bit of time for me to wait for it to dry thoroughly. But, yeah, it's I find it to be so worth it in the end. So, let's go get to that.
right, everybody, it's done. I gave it a flat coat and uh, took off the canopy and uh, cleaned it with a little bit of Novus One plastic polish. And very, very transparent, I might add. You can, well, even though it's bubbled, you can really see through to the inside uh, a lot more than I thought you would. Uh, it's a terrific kit. I, I really loved building it. I had a I had a blast building this little thing. A bit difficult at times because it's so chubby. Um, you kind of gotta, you know, have these three levels on here. I kind of had to pick my spots where to hold it so I could airbrush it. Um, really like the colors that the, how they turned out. They've got that really nice Corsair classic feel to them, which I really, really did like in the end here. Um, Deckles went on pretty darn well. I was quite surprised with that, actually. I thought I'd have a little bit of fight with them. Um, sometimes these uh, these decals out of China, sometimes they fight you, but these were really, really good. Um, no problems. I did run into one very, very sad problem, however, and that was when I put the wheels together. You put the hub here around the tire, and you can see cracked the tire. I did it there, I did it there. So sand those down, make them thinner, um, otherwise you're gonna crack them. And it's quite a shame. Uh, thankfully they're basically all on the bottom, so you won't really see it, but I know that they're there and that that kills it for me. So uh, I've shown this to a couple people. They love it, by the way. They love these little comical aircraft so if you're thinking about getting one you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs should I buy one should I buy one go get one just do it you will have a blast in the end um, especially love the Corsair's feature of pulling out the wings and having them folded uh, I showed that to my friend and uh, he, he, he basically <laughs> fell over he thought that was absolutely fantastic that they would uh, they would incorporate something like that in the model. So I've got another one of these to build in the near future and um, I can honestly say seeing myself buying all of them they are just they are just that much fun. They, they look great, they fit fantastically um, and they're again they're just nice. They're very very nice. I think the only complaint I have aside from the wheels would be there are no pilot figures um, when are these companies going to get it together and say, hey, you know what would be great? Figures! Uh, they, 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 that would just tie everything together so perfectly. Um, I know some of the Hasegawa kits, um, the eggplanes, I know some of them come with pilots. But it's not enough. We want, we want pilots in these things. And we want them to be goofy, like the plane, little caricatures or something. Um... But even though it doesn't have that, it does have excellent interior detail, which I, I really, really like. And um, yeah, that, that's honestly about it for me. As far as I can say about this model, I loved it. I had fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I've been happily having it on my desk here and just staring at it with a good chuckle every once in a while. And... Um, I look forward to, to getting a couple more of these, and so you guys will see more of these Tiger Model cute planes in the future. So thank you everybody for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the Rebels at Cloud9 blog at rebelsatcloud9.blogspot.ca. There will be a link in the description below so you can see pictures of the Steel Gallery. And um, for the next one I'll probably take pictures of the Sprues, just so everyone can see what they're like. And um, don't know when I'm going to build the next one. I got it. My dad actually bought it, so I'll explain that one later on when I get to it. Um, but yeah, again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll go and give one of these guys a chance. I think you'll be just absolutely delighted uh, with how fun they are. And uh, yeah, had a, had a very enjoyable time building this. So thanks for watching, everybody. This is Rebels of Cloud Nine. If I haven't taught you anything. At least you've learned what not to do. I'll see you guys next time.